Okay, I vacuumed up all the baking soda around the base of that thing. The baking soda was supposed to help to absorb some of the smell. I think what's happening is that seal is leaking gas out of the septic tank. And of course, with a little imagination, y'all can all imagine just about what gas out of the septic tank smells like. So, <clears throat> pretty easy to disconnect the toilet. This one I've had off within the last 10 years or so. But when I had it off last time, I put this little valve on it so I could cut the water off. And all I had to do is disconnect this pipe. Of course, I flushed it before I did that to empty out the tank here. And with the water cut off, it doesn't refill. So now the toilet is mostly empty. There's some in the bowl, but uh, not so much that <coughs> excuse me, not so much that I can't pick it up and get it out of here without making too bad a mess. So basically, I went out and got me some wrenches and these little side bolts should just loosen right up and then literally i'll just pick it up i'll uh got some potty pads over there that we use for charlie and what i might do is set it on one of those potty pads to absorb anything that drips out of it while i pick it up and carry it outside i thought about throwing it out the window here which is a i guess another option but just on the chance that i can't find another one that would fit right here I'm going to try not to damage this one in case I decide I have to use it again. This toilet fits very close to the wall. And uh, uh, my wife was looking and she found one that's supposed to have a little bit more room. We're going to wind up buying one of those and putting it back on here. But if I were to have any trouble getting one, and I needed to save this one. By the way, did I mention this is pretty nasty work? Yeah, okay, I'll just mention that. It's pretty nasty work. I did mention this is not for the uh, weak of heart, and some of y'all might not want to look. Uh, but sometimes a thing just has to be done. You have to put on your, you have to put on your big boy pants and get it done. So I feel like I got a little cold, which is annoying because I had a little cold for about a month and a half, and I got over it. And I thought I was done with that. But lately it seems like it's come back, which is, oh, I don't know. It just seems unnecessary, you know. Seems like one cold is enough. I really can't think of a, an appropriate reason why I really needed to have it twice. But anyway, uh, I do. And I asked the doctor, I said, does that have anything to do with that tick bite? She said, no, you just got the cold again. I said, well, dang. Of course, maybe some of this antibiotic stuff that she has me taking will uh, help to run off the cold. I think I'll bag these bolts up, save them just in case I need them. I might also change my mind about setting that out the window. Maybe I could without too much likelihood of breaking it. Let me get me some gloves on. Nice. <laughs> okay, clean up on aisle three. Uh, yeah, that's a mess. Okay. <laughs>